thing wobbing. What is going on guys? It is Thurston today with another YouTube video today. We're gonna do a Legends upgrade pack. Now, a ton of people are saying this is the best set in the game, and honestly, I'm kinda have mixed feelings on it. I've seen a lot of videos, I've seen a lot of people open this pack, and I've seen a lot of 91 overall polls. I've seen a lot of 87 overall polls. Now, if you take a look at the set, you need two 83 to 84 overall legends. Now this set cost me about 100,000 coins, not including the Elite Token, just because the fact the Elite Token I had all the players to do it, but if you had to go buy all the players to do the Elite Token set, it might cost you like 150, 160k to do. Now, the 85 overall plus Legends going for about 25 to 28,000 coins. Now, of course, it does work a little bit better if you do this on Saturday, because of course, Legends are going to be cheaper on the weekends, but unfortunately for me, I decided to do this today. And then we have two 83 to 84 overall legends, which come from about 15 to 18,000 coins, depending on who you get. And then, of course, you need the elite token. Now, the set is very, very difficult to do. Well, not really difficult, but there's a ton of different people you can pull. Now, one of the most common pulls that I see out of this, or one of the most good pulls that are, that are common, is this Ed Reedon. He's going for about 565,000 coins. Now, I've seen a ton of people pull this Ed Reed, and I'm not really sure why, but I've just seen a ton of people pull that Ed Reed. And then you take a look down here. So, say you can get a 575,000 coin pull, or you can get the 87 Ed Reed, which is only going for about 50,000 coins. So, you lose a little bit of coins, and then if you pull the 90 overall, of course, it looks like I would make some coins as well now it only cost about a hundred thousand coins so i'm not going to be too mad if we don't pull something amazing another card i've seen pulled a lot is not an overall jason taylor and he's going from a 200k so once again i would make my coins back all i want to do is make my coins back off this now if there's one guy i kind of really want to pull it would be herschel walker because honestly i really do want to get this card and this herschel walker is going from about 300k now Essentially, if you pull a 90 overall or above, you're going to make your coins back probably 70% of the time. Now, I'm sure if you go all the way down here to like one of the first people, if you pull this Chris Carter or something, I don't know if, well, actually, there's not even a 90 overall in the set. But any overall, Chris Carter is only going for 140,000 coins, so you wouldn't even make all of your coins back, unfortunately. Now, of course, I definitely would not mind pulling a Michael Vick. 91 overall take a look at this card and i believe it's actually the most expensive card you can pull 800 000 coins that is absolutely insane definitely would love that 90 overall michael vick that card is still one for 275k so definitely wouldn't mind that one either and then we have the 87 overall mike vick which is one of the more expensive 87 overalls but he's still only going for 76 000 coins and then of course take a look at the what the elite token what we need to do in order to get this, we need three 82 even overalls and three 82 to 83s, and then of course three 84 to 99s. Now, if you do the 87 plus NAT auction mall, you probably have a bunch of NAT cards and other miners, so doing this really isn't that big of a deal. As you can see, most of my cards in my team are NAT anyway, so this was pretty easy to do. I could probably do another one right now if I wanted to, but pretty simple honestly it's not that bad because i'm sure a ton of people have nat cards and item binder so the elite token shouldn't be too bad as long as you have the 84 to 89s you actually might have to go and buy the 82 to 83s i think i had to go and buy like two of them in order to even do this set but you need an elite token and a ton of legends to do this set so it's quite a risk and there's also a couple other sets i'm thinking about doing a video on maybe this football outsiders but honestly five gold tokens you need to do that's quite a bit and if you don't pull an amazing football setters player then that set is gonna be a big bus all right legends upgrade pack can we get something good ea please all i want is at least a 90 overall i'm not asking for 91 just at least a 90 maybe an 89 something to make my coins back spend a hundred thousand coins let's get this back so we're gonna get Okay, is that good? Not your wall just is that good? 
82 speed, 85 boxing with 90 finesse mode. Now, this is actually the Twitch Prime legend, and I honestly don't know how to react to this because I don't know if that's a really good pull or not. So, let's go ahead and take a look. It cost me 100,000 coins to do the set, and we'll see if I made some profit off of this. Hopefully, I did. Come on, EA. Do me some good. And... Okay, so I did make a little bit of coins, 145,000 coins. If I sell them for like 140k after tax, I made about 20,000 coins, which I mean, I'm not complaining about 20,000 coins. Definitely just happy that I was able to make my coins back off this set, but what are you guys' opinions on this set? Honestly, I think it's a pretty good set. Now, when it first came out, I think I needed the two elite tokens, and that was way too much for the set. I feel like that was just way too much definitely not worth it but now there's only one elite token and i think it's kind of worth it to be honest and especially if you give them that good pull not too mad at all 90 overall jason taylor definitely pretty dang good now for some reason today he decided to drop mud heroes in a sidekicks bundle so if you guys want to go ahead and get your sidekicks and your mud heroes go ahead and do that today because they're gonna be a little bit cheaper and definitely worth it to get yourself that patrick peterson Terrell suggs Whichever one you think looks the most glitchiest. Now we also have the new Gauntlet Unleashed Solos today. Pound the Rock Tier 2 and Blanket Coverage are what you're going to need to unlock this. And then of course, once you unlock it, you unlock the Championship. And then of course, Pound the Rock Tier 2 and Blanket Coverage Tier 2. Required to play to get your 84 Raw Auction or 87 and 80. Now one thing I want to go through really quickly before I get out of here. What happened between AJ Green and Jalen Ramsey yesterday? was absolutely insane do you guys think aj green is going to get suspended for that if you guys don't know what happened basically jalen ramsey pushed aj green a little bit and i'm sure there's probably a bit of trash talk because of course jalen ramsey is a big trash talking cornerback aj green slammed him twice and had him in a chokehold and started throwing punches and then afterwards I believe someone in the Jaguars was talking AJ Green, and AJ Green was looking like he was about to fight them too. So honestly, both of them got ejected. I'm not sure why Jalen Ramsey got ejected. I don't feel like he should have. And then AJ Green definitely should have got ejected. Now, I think AJ Green could possibly get suspended for this because what he did was absolutely crazy. Definitely didn't expect AJ Green to be that type of person and go after Jalen Ramsey like that. But that was pretty crazy, and then also Mike Evans yesterday on Marshawn Lattimore. He also got in a fight now. That was because Jameis Winston actually, I think, like poked Marshawn Lattimore's neck or something. And then Marshawn Lattimore turned around and pushed uh, Jameis Winston back. So then Mike Evans did defend his quarterback, but still got ejected from the game. AJ Green and Jalen Ramsey both ejected. I didn't really see Jalen Ramsey throw any punches back at AJ Green, so I'm not sure why he got ejected, but. AJ Green definitely has to step it up. I believe he only had like one catch in the first half. And I mean, AJ, you're an amazing receiver. But Jalen Ramsey also is a top five cornerback in the NFL right now. And that defense must be a pain in the ass to play against if you're a top receiver. And you're expected to put up a ton of points. But AJ Green just kind of has to keep his cool in that situation. But that's all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed the video... Hit the like button, subscribe, and comment. What do you guys think about the set? What do you guys think about the whole AJ Green, Jalen Ramsey situation? Also, the Mike Evans, Marshawn Lattimore. That is just absolutely crazy what happened. But the Legend set, in my opinion, I think it's definitely worth it. I've seen a ton of people pull 90 overalls, 90 overalls. Really haven't seen too many bad pulls. I think if you do probably two of them, you're probably going to get at least one 99 overall. And you'll probably make your coins back like 50% of the time, or at least break it even if you do a ton of them. But... If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys next time.